Tori Clark. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm a hall director in the Northwest Quad. This is my fourth year here at UConn and in Northwest, um, and so I love working here. We have predominantly first-year students, um, some older students as well, because um, we also work with two learning communities, the nursing house learning community and the pre-pharmacy learning community. So a typical day for me, um, I usually come in the office. First thing I do is pull up my calendar, um, take a look at what I have going on for the day, try to prep for any meetings that I have first thing in the morning, if I have any of those. Um, but I usually try to reserve the first hour of my day just for administrative things. So checking emails, reviewing incident reports, duty reports, um, making sure that any conduct cases I have are up to date, getting all of that stuff together. Um, then as the day progresses, that's usually when I have most of my meetings with students, whether those are conduct related or one-on-ones with um, RAs or check-ins with student staff, student workers, game room staff, things like that. Um, so usually my afternoons are more reserved for meetings and the mornings are more administratively focused. So the RLM is the residential learning model. That is the model that we use here at UConn to educate our students while they're living in our communities, um, kind of making sure that the learning isn't just occurring in the classrooms, but that it's also informing how they move through their day-to-day -day lives, how they um, work collaboratively and interact with the people that they're living with, um, and how they learn about themselves while they're here at UConn. Um, the primary way that I use it with our staff is when we're prepping for um, their upcoming events and programs. So whether those are community meetings or community building activities that they're doing, and then also just checking um, how they've been interacting with their residents one-on-one -on -one as well. They utilize a platform called RoomPact to execute a lot of their conversation-based things with the RLM. Working with students, obviously DEI and social justice are gonna be at the forefront of every interaction that I'm having with students, with other colleagues. It's really important to make sure that everyone feels included, everyone feels respected, and everyone feels safe and welcome in the place that they're living here on campus. Um, so the way that that comes into play with our staff is by having um, intentional conversations conversations both with them about their identities as they feel comfortable having those conversations and then also educating them through different means um, whether that's in staff meetings with things like table talks or other kind of structured discussions um, or interactive activities that teach them more about diversity and equity and inclusion. So serving on duty at UConn is definitely different than any other place that I've served on duty uh, but I do like it because at any given time when we do have students here on campus we have three professional staff members um, serving in the hall director duty rotation. During breaks, there are only two people on duty. Um, so we just decreased the coverage a little bit to accommodate for the smaller amount of students. There's always someone on with you in the event that um, you are already handling one incident and then something else happens, or if there's a really large incident where you do need that backup, um, you can call in another hall director. And then obviously we also have um, assistant directors and um, a higher level of people serving on call as well. So I have a great relationship with my supervisor uh, his name is Mark McDonald. He's one of our assistant directors here. Um, he's been at UConn for a while and has a really good understanding of the university and the various areas that we have here um, as far as different communities. Um, he's familiar with my community specifically and that really helps because um, he has some of that contextual knowledge that maybe I don't have because it's things that took place before I got here at UConn and so he really uses those things to um, help me and my co make informed decisions about the area and how um, things should go with our staff, but he's also very good about letting us do what we think is best um, and not micromanaging us and giving us the space to um, let the area be what we think it should be and let us execute our vision. He's really good about giving us the space we need, um, allowing us to take time for ourselves, encouraging us and helping us to take care of ourselves. Um, so I definitely really appreciate him for that. We have the nursing house learning community and the pre-pharmacy learning community, and they're both very academically focused learning communities. Um, those students have very rigorous course schedules um, and their faculty directors are very good at knowing more of what's going on with the students academically. And so they're really good about um, giving us some of that information so we know when our students might be under a little bit more stress than normal with different exams and things that they have coming up. Um, and it's definitely a very collaborative relationship um, and just making sure that students feel that kind of seamless experience and knowing that they have support um, from both sides of that and that we are aware of their interactions with the LC and the LC is aware of their interactions with us. Living on campus is definitely interesting. Uh, there's never a dull moment um, and it can pose the 
possibility for the challenge of kind of navigating that work-life balance when you do live so close to where you work. I know I try to be very intentional about that, um, about separating my work from my personal life, even though I do live on campus. Um, and it is convenient. It is nice to live where you work and be able to have that access if you need to. Um, biggest piece of advice that I would give to a new hall director is don't be afraid to ask for help. And I think that's something that um, a lot of times we'll hear and we don't necessarily take to heart. But I think one thing about UConn is people are eager to help you. Um, they recognize that as a new hall director at such a large school, it can be overwhelming, it can be daunting. Um, and they want to help you navigate that. They want to help you familiarize yourself with the campus, with campus partners, um, with our students. And they want you to be able to be the best you can be as a hall director and they're ready to you know provide any resources any guidance um, that they can to make that happen so definitely take advantage of that um, because here at UConn we do work with some great people um, and I think that you know we're really lucky to be able to do that and so definitely taking advantage of that well thanks for spending the day with me hope to see you at UConn